We are with the fabulous Cow Sales. Let me just say, Rhode Island's own Cow Sales, yeah, Bob, yeah, yeah. Paul, and oh, Susan. Yeah. Yeah. Folks, welcome back Thank to you the so Ocean much. State. We're so happy to be home. It's good to be home. Going home. A lot of relatives. Far off, far off. It's always so much fun when we come here because all of a sudden, all of the relatives, we get to see our relatives that we don't get a, a, a lot of chances to see. So it's really great. Now, were you kids, Army brats? I know your Navy. father. Ooh, Navy brats. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, get the right language. We lived yeah. in the Anchorage at, yeah. at, in Newport, Rhode Island back when the Anchorage was Naval Housing, and my dad was on the D-19 in Newport. We walked to St. Joseph's School down Thames Street, passing the Blue Moon Saloon, when it was a rough and tumble Navy we town. Went to right. St. Augustine's uh, Catholic it, School and Church. <laughs> Thompson Junior High. Yeah. Well, Middletown High School. And, 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 Me too. and there were a gaggle of kids in your family. Gaggles. Oh my God. Yeah, there were. In fact, Susan gaggable is 10 too. years younger than me, and I, I, I ignored her for four years. <laughs> I know. It's the funniest story ever. Because what's a 10- through 14-year-old going to be? There's a baby in the house. Okay, I got to get going. <laughs> yeah, true, you know, true, true. I true. met her later. It's That's true. funny. <laughs> well, now, y your dad. I'm in therapy. I'm all right. <laughs> your, your dad kind of was the uh, person that instigated you guys getting together and performing. Is that no, true? No, that isn't no. true. The boys were musically inclined. They wanted to have a band. My dad facilitated that event when we got real good he was a rough and tumble Navy guy in our life well I, I'm, I'm I'm sure of that and and listen uh, how tough is it uh, when your family and especially when you were launching your career here in Little Rhodey how difficult is it to spend all those years together? I gotta believe it's a bit of a strain. Is that is that a fair characterization? Well, can we say the word "it sucked"? <laughs> well, I had you very know, good moments, but to yeah. come, come of age doing that—that's yeah. what we it was. It was the time that we were the together eye, because when, when everything was being controlled. Because go, Paul. Yeah, because we really loved being together. The kids. Yeah. I mean, our yeah. most fun was doing what we were doing. Upstage. Honest to God. So it's just today. I think everybody, uh, you know, being teenage. Most families, you have your kids. They grow up they're teenagers they go to high school they go to college they get married they move out we weren't doing that it wasn't a natural progression but you know long-range answer <laughs> yeah. is yes, yes it did, did. Yeah. and it imploded on itself in like 1972 for all those reasons and that's why you guys kind of yes. went away for a yeah. while oh, yeah, absolutely we, we all had to go to our own corners radar. of the world on corners grow of the world, up get a life have kids have families and, and, and yeah. what did you do in your other life your non-show business lives i didn't ever have one go ahead I, oh wait i was a waitress at marie calendars for okay. two years. Uh, right now i work on a tv show called Grimm and I'm an extreme landscaper. It's an NBC show. So I'm in TV and movies uh, working on the other side of the camera. I work in emergency medicine, yeah. but I've sung my whole life. I've been at one yeah. pub in Woodland Hills, California for 28 years, Pickwick's Holy. Pub every Friday. Did they give, give you a gold watch Yeah, you, you have like some kind of a software company or something or something, computer well, oh, no, tech? I work for Wait, one. wait, dude, okay. that'd be cool computer though. Computer tech, yeah. Let's say you have a software well, company. Let's just I have my own software company <laughs> and I develop in software fact, for Bill anything Gates you need. Bill Gates and you are very close. That's you and Bill uh, are, are very close. And I know the attorney general, so come and see me. Yeah. Listen, you will not get a speeding ticket while you're here in Rhode Awesome, do you have his card? You know, you <laughs> you folks, you folks are also. We might need it later. Oh, hey, hey. Oh. You, you, oh, sorry. you folks have the unique <laughs> distinction of being the only people I've ever met live in person that actually did the Gene Carroll show in Cleveland, Ohio. Oh, oh you're from Ohio. Yeah. Well, well uh, no, listen, it was le it was a legendary talent show. Hold that tiger. It was, Hold that tiger. tiger. It was I was too young. I was yeah. born there. We got beat. It was me and Bill. Yep. They put us in charcoal suits. I was in the sixth grade and Bill was in the seventh grade. And we went on that TV show and we sang Baby Blue. B-B-A-B-Y-B-B-L-U-E, you're my baby blue. And we got beat by a musician. Well, so, <laughs> I'm convinced that for about 20 years, after Gene Carroll died, they had a cutout of him just uh, sitting there uh, oh. so they could keep that show. It was like on Sunday mornings or something, I Saturday morning. Dave, Dave, don't you wish they had copies it, of it? It's interesting oh. that you mentioned that because because we've often thought to get Barry and Bill back with us. That oh, yeah, we, were we would get cutouts of the brothers and, and have them stand up. Yeah, yeah, we have, have them. them up we there. go to the Hall of Fame in Cleveland. They have cut out. Well, evidently we're headed that direction. And Herb's coming too. Herb Weiss is going to be in living color. He prefers to be addressed as Mr. Pawtucket. You do 20 minutes on network television. Yes, yes, yes. And what happened next? Nothing. We got. I mean, really. I love this guy. We got signed by. Joe directors. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Nash. <laughs> Johnny Nash, you did. I can see clearly now. He had a record label back, back then. And I we, can see all obstacles in, in my way. way. And you know what else he sang? Hercules, winner of ancient glory. <laughs> Old TV show. Hercules. Anyways, we signed to his label. It was a black label. We came up to New York. We had black songwriters, black musicians, and we were... Uh, 
White. Gonna, <laughs> and we were four white boys from Rhode Island. And it, it didn't work out. We had our first release, though, and they finally let us just record something Bill and I wrote, All I Really Want to Be Is Me, which was our first release. WPRO, God bless them in Providence, Rhode Island. Salty Brian. Salty One night Brian. Oh, it was the only great. time it got Fuck played. Salty! Because <laughs> it tanked, and they let us go. And then we got signed by Phillips Mercury, and the story continues. And that's yeah. when it really exploded. Oh, because we met yeah. Audie Kornfeld at Mercury. Because Records. you put Mom and Me in the band, and no, that's when yet. it exploded yet, like kiddo. No. Having the female voices were a yeah. tremendous addition. Ladies tremendous and gentlemen, we are here for a live you interview. Mentioned, you mentioned Artie. He head. happened to pen that song, The Rain, The, the Park, Park and you. Other Things. Yes, he did. Yeah. And, and I got to tell you, and I'm not patronizing you. Oh, no. That song could be not, a I'll hit. I'll punch you right in the that, nose. That, song could, be a, the that song could be a hit today. I think that he song is a magnificent. Thank you. That's such a magnificent tune. There's a great recording. Artie did a great job of producing that record. It was unbelievable. Now, when you first heard it or were given the uh, the lead sheet. Right. Uh, what did you think? Did you did you like it right away? Oh sure. They brought it down. Artie spent a summer with us at Hallin and Hall in Newport, where we lived at the time. And Todd's, we we're going over harmony, and Steve Duboff, his partner, was on the piano, and we go over everything. And they sang the Rain in the Park and other things on the piano. That's how we heard it. Did they, they didn't hand us a demo or anything. And and started working up vocal parts and stuff. And yeah. they and, and Steve and and Artie did uh, the Pied Piper. They wrote Come that song. On, babe. I'm the oh yeah, new Christy, uh, Lou Christie is new Christie. Yeah, well, he they, they wrote right. that, and so they got power because they were young, you know. And so, <laughs> but they, they Lou was 20, is new you know, what's his name? Who sang that? Oh no, but that Chris, was great. Yeah, who sang the Pied Piper? Artie and his buddy. No, no, no not. No, it not was that. a guy named Luke. Oh, New Luke Christy Kristen. No, Christian. That's oh, guy. yeah, yeah, yes. I, I played Christian. that song. I played your song in my early career as a DJ, by you the did. way. Oh, wow. I played, Thank I played you your much. songs. I know who you're talking about. Uh, it, and the name escapes me, but I'll think sure. of it. Uh, okay. it, it, was, it. It was. I think it, a, I think it was a one-hit wonder. Yeah, it was. It, it was. It, it's a three. It's like but Kristen St. James or something like that. Anyway. But Crispin St. Peter. Crispin St. Peter. Yeah. Nice job, guys. It only took three of you. All you people. That's how you can solve something did you see that I mean, without going it to google takes a village. without the going to google when without you're over 60 it takes a village now you know what you know what i i, I noticed about this song and what i found interesting about this song especially from the era in the, uh, the when the song came out what what year was that 67 yeah. okay um the song title the rain the park and other things the title isn't in the song. True that. It's in a list on Google of songs that don't have the title sung in them. Th that doesn't happen very often. No, I gotta it's a believe. very recurrence. It was going to be called The Flower Girl. But and it is in parentheses on the yeah. 45. Okay. But I already had to change it to something But you know, I saw her sitting in the rain, so there's the rain, right? Park and other things. But but the, the park alone. But now let me ask yeah. you this. It's it sold a few million copies, right? Oh, okay. yeah. Very well. Our first million seller on MGM. It was a great, great thing to have happen when you're young. And it went to number two on Billboard's Hot 100. Yeah, well, it went to number, number one, one in Cashbox box. and Record World. Oh, so there. okay. <laughs> there yeah. were three magazines hey, we're at the time. God Billboard. rest uh, Cashbox is sold. Yeah, 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 Billboard's yeah. a great indicator. I got it. But, uh, but, but listen, and it did. It sold in Europe. It sold overseas. Yes. Uh, over uh, where was, was that crazy? In Mexico. And yeah, all Spain, over. Uh, New Zealand, well, New Zealand, the world. New Zealand. Now you are young performers. Yes. And now we're old. Let me ask you this. <laughs> Did you keep any of the cheese, or as they say in Rhode Island, cheese? any of the scarole? Let me tell you. That was when we became of any, <laughs> when we became of any kind of age, the, the scarole. Was a goal. Was, was a goal. Gone. <laughs> yeah, what a tragic story, really. There's a there, well, the documentary ran on Showtime for five months. It's not running now, but there is one on the family. You can get it you can, on Amazon. You can get it it's online. It's called uh, and it, it Family Band, the, the whole, Cow Sill Story. Yeah, Family Band. And, and, and you guys uh, sign away. on with that. Yeah, I mean, we're you're, in. You're, you're, I mean, you, a, we're being interviewed. You, 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 you can attest to the accuracy of the content. We were there neck and neck. We're all there. Now, how often do you guys perform today? Or, or I don't mean today, but Only once these well, days. Last weekend we performed. Where were we? Raleigh, North Carolina. Oh, we were in Raleigh, North <laughs> Carolina. Well, I did but we'll forget. We'll never forget we were in Pawtucket this weekend. No, no, Pawtucket, no, no. Pawtucket, Pawtucket, Pawtucket. <laughs> so we're, we're playing a lot. Susan plays a lot. And, I play uh, a lot. And, uh, I'm playing in uh, Brooklyn on October the 9th at the Barclays Center with a Sixto Rodriguez. There you go. We're going on a cruise. We're going on a cruise. Uh, uh, January, Paul Revere uh, and the Raiders. Where the action is. Where the action is. Cruise. Cruise. Come on. Yeah, come on Paul the Revere and the Raiders, BJ Thomas, Thomas. Uh, Mary Wilson from the Supremes, us, and special guests. Oh, when the sun beats down, <laughs> back up. There's a tower <laughs> up on the roof. All right, boom, and your shoes get and so your hot. your shoes get so hot. You, you wish your tired feet were fireproof. Under the boardwalk, down by the sea, yeah. With a 
a blanket with my baby. I saw her sitting in the rain. Raindrop falling on her. She didn't seem to care. She sat there and smiled at me. And I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew she could make me happy. Happy, happy, she can make me very happy. In her head. I was everywhere. Everywhere. I love the flower girl. Oh, I don't know just why she simply caught my eye. I love the flower girl. She seemed so sweet and kind. She crept into my mind. I knew I had to say hello, hello, hello. Smiled up at me, hello, how do you do? She took my hand, we walked through the park alone. And I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. She could make me happy, happy, happy. She had made me very happy. happy. In her As today, suddenly the sun broke through. See the sun. I turned around, she was gone. Where did she go? All I had left was one little flower in my hand. But I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew. She had made me happy. Happy, happy. She had made me very happy. I was in her head. Thank you.